Hello, my name is Pawan Kalya. Now I am going to explain about wavelet transforms in one dimension and discrete wavelet transform. A wavelet transform is used to analyze a signal into different frequency components at different resolution scales, known as multi-resolution. At high frequencies, we have good time resolution and poor frequency resolution. And at low frequencies, we have good frequency resolution and poor time resolutions. And the wavelet transform is a mathematical technique which decomposes a signal into multiple lower resolution levels by controlling the scaling and shifting factors of a single wavelet function. The advantages of wavelet transform is when compared to Fourier transform, it has the ability to extract both local spectral and temporal information. And its application is wavelet transform is used to analyze ECG signals which contain periodic transient signals of interest. And wavelet transform is also used to remove of noise from various signals. And they offer a simultaneous localization in time and frequency domain. Wavelet transform is of two types, discrete wavelet transform and continuous wavelet transform. In here, we will discuss about discrete wavelet transform. Like the Fourier series expansion, the wavelet series also maps a function of continuous variables into a sequence of coefficients. If the function being expanded is a sequence of numbers like samples of a continuous function f of x, then the resulting coefficients are called the discrete wavelet transform. Discrete wavelet transform is a technique to transform image pixels into wavelets, which are then used for wavelet based compression and coding. The mathematical formula for discrete wavelet transform and inverse discrete wavelet transform are given below. In here, pi of x is a scaling function and psi of x is a wavelet function. For Haar wavelets, the discretized scaling and wavelet functions employed in the transform correspond to the rows of M cross M Haar transformation matrix. The transformation itself is composed of M coefficients with a minimum scale of 0 and a maximum scale of J minus 1. The integrations in the series expansion have been replaced by summations and a 1 by square root of m normalizing factor has been added to both the forward and inverse expressions. This factor alternatively could be incorporated into the forward or inverse alone as 1 by m. Equations shown are valid for orthogonal basis and tight frames alone. For biorthogonal basis, the terms must be replaced by their dual as pi and psi will be replaced with pi dash and psi dash. Let us use an example of the discrete function with four points f0 equal to 1, f of 1 equal to 4, and f of 2 equal to minus 3, and f of 3 equal to 0. We will use the harsh scaling and wavelet function and assume that the four samples of f of x are distributed over the support of the basis function, which is 1 in width. Let first we substitute the four samples into discrete wavelet transform. We find that the value will be 1. By taking j and k as 0, we got the value correspond to the first row of the hot transformation matrix as 1. By repeating the process, we will get the correspond values which corresponds to rows 2, 3 and 4 of the Haar transformation matrix as 4 minus 1.5 root 2 minus 1.5 root 2. So the discrete wavelet transform of our simple 4 sample function related to the Haar wavelet and scaling function is 1, 4, minus 1.5 root 2 and minus 1.5 root 2 where the transformation coefficients are arranged in order which they were computed. By using inverse discrete wavelet transform we can get the we can reconstruct the original function from its transform 
iteration through its summation indices. For example, if we take n equal to 0, we get the value 1, f of 0 as. As in the forward case, uniformly spaced samples of the scaling and wavelet functions are used in the computation of the inverse. The four-point discrete wavelet transform in, in the example is an illustration of a two-scale decomposition of f of n that is j as 0 comma 1 where we assume the state starting scale was 0 but other starting scales are also possible. In summary, the one-dimensional discrete wavelet transform is a multi-resolutional frequency decomposition and localization of a one-dimensional discrete time signal. Thank you.